What's going on YouTube, Nick Zap World here and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 on 32-bit devices. So I'm doing this on an iPad Mini 1 on iOS 9.3.5. As you can see, I'm on 9.3.5 right there, so let's get started. First, what you want to do is open Safari and go to this link, appvalley.vip. I will have it in the description. So when you get there, you'll be at this screen. So what you want to do is hit install app valley and then it will give you this pop-up, do you want to install? Just hit install and it will start downloading. So it should start downloading. If it doesn't, you just want to go back and keep doing it a few more times and it will start to download. So I will get back to you when it's down done downloading. So now that App Valley is done downloading, you want to open it. But first, you'll get this pop-up saying, Untrusted Enterprise Developer. You want to just hit Cancel. Open up Settings. Go to General. Scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Device Management. You want to go in that. Click on this. And hit Trust. It will give you a warning. Just hit Trust. And now, you should be able to open it with no issues. Just give it a second to load. As you can see, it's not properly optimized for the iPad, but that's not a problem. So as you can see, here we are. Now you want to go down here till you see search. Click on that. Give it a second to load. And here you want to click on that. And then you want to search Phoenix. Whoops. If you get some pop-ups, just hit the X. So when you get here, you want to type Phoenix. And it will, and you want, and you'll see this, you want to hit get. This is the app we need to jailbreak. You want to hit get one more time and hit install. Now you want to let this app install. Shouldn't take too long. If it doesn't install, like app validated, you want to just hit get again and hit install. I'll get back to you when it finishes installing. Now that Phoenix has finished installing, you want to open up the app. And as you can see, you don't get that pop-up because it's from the same management. So as you can see, your iPad 2.5 is now jailbroken. If you get an ad, just hit the X. So you want to hit prepare for jailbreak. You want to hit accept. And there's a free mixtape available. If you want to go ahead and download it, you can. But in my case, I'm just going to hit proceed with jailbreak. And as you can see, install city, and then you just want to tap on begin installation. As you can see, it sh should say device supported. You want to hit use provided offsets, which is the top option. Now it's going to start patching the kernel and start installing Cydia. I'll get back to you when this finishes up. So Cydia has finished downloading and installing. So your device will respring, which is completely normal. No need to freak out. So once it's finished respringing, you'll be at the lock screen. You want to slide to unlock. Now swipe to the left. And as you can see, Cydia is now on our home screen. You want to open that up. And as you can see, mine loaded really quickly. And as you can see, if we go to the bottom, you can see iPad 2.5, iOS 9.3.5. So now we have successfully jailbroke our 32-bit device on iOS 9.3.5. But there is one catch. It is semi-untethered. So every time you reboot your device, you're going to have to go back into Phoenix. And there will be a kickstart jailbreak button. It's not showing because the jailbreak is already kickstarted. But every time you reboot, you will have to go into Phoenix and re-kickstart the jailbreak. So thank you for watching my video. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Bye.